special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air and the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high and every expectation this game will live up to its billing. Complete coverage on the way with EA TV. Hello to you from the Amex Stadium Brighton, the jewel of England's south coast. Guy Mowbray here for commentary with Sue Smith alongside me. And it's all about the Premier League here. It's Brighton and Hove Albion and they take on Manchester United. Yeah, thanks as always, Guy. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticipating a good game today and an atmosphere to match. Certainly been buzzing in here ahead of kickoff. Hopefully we're not disappointed. Here's how Brighton and Hove Albion line up. Yeah, it's a 4-5-1, but it will morph into a 4-2-3-1. The single centre forward will be supported by the number 10, and you'd expect them to rotate and swap positions just to try and drag defenders out. The wide midfielders, they'll offer a threat in behind. Great chance here, and it's an early lead. A terrific start. Another look now, and you can see he's under all sorts of pressure here. He's done well, though, to fend them off. Really strong play and a good finish, too. Manchester and United we're back underway at 1-0. Read the pass well and cuts it out. Space to attack here for Manchester United. Fernandez. A decent move looked to be building, but that's it for now. Being pressed here. A chance to get in behind with that. But that will be offside. Well, you can't hold on to the ball for that long. He has to see the pass earlier and give it. Really nicely played. What can they do with this now? Really good interception to take the ball. And he's glanced at the pitch there, but only himself to blame, really, for a blaze that's missed. Harry Clampty. This is a for no Ali. No Ali can you please meet Jennifer Bassett? Getting brought to a halt. A free kick given for that. No booking, but it is a firm warning there. Yeah, I like how the refs handle the situation. Just give him a warning. Pass is incomplete, nicely won. Pascal Gross. Staying patient here, but they need to find an equaliser. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to probably stop that. Yeah. 
Over it comes. And it's not the best of clearances. Taking this on. is looking good now what comes next a promising looking attack but it's come to nothing could be a chance to break here real opportunity and there it is he's doubled up for the day Well, if we take another look, he just glides past his man. The defender just can't live with him. And it makes a striker's job relatively easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a really good goal. goal 2-0 then, as we get started again. Dallo. Dallo. Bit sloppy in possession. Promising looking ball. The approach play looked encouraging, but good defending to snuff out any threat. Need to get tighter here. Picked out nicely. And you can see and sense the frustration after that. It needed a more subtle, certain finish. Lamptey. And the hard work pays off. They won the ball. An attack of genuine promise developing. Looking for someone at the back post here. Well, actually, just a little too close to the keeper. He'll happily take that. Approaching the interval now, and the hosts look like having a mountain to climb. Is the score fair enough on what we've seen? They've struggled, haven't they? They've looked languid, looked lethargic. The back line, they've had a torrid time too. It feels like with every attack they're going to concede. Sorry, Sue, chance here. And it's been cut out. There's the turnover. Breaking at pace, this could be dangerous. It's a really good break, this. How did they fail to score? That's one to ponder for a while. Moving forward under no real pressure. Coming in field now. And that's where it ends with possession lost. The referee playing advantage. Juan Bissaka. Lovely ticky tacker football. Can they find the final pass? McTominay. He's 
Drifting into a useful position here. And the shot thwarted. And with that, the first half comes to an end here in Brighton. Well, we've seen a top player at the top of his game up to now. It's been a performance of the highest quality. Well, he's been outstanding, hasn't he? He's taken his goals so well, but it's everything about his play that's quality. Wouldn't surprise me if he gets his hat-trick in the second half. So away we go then for the second half. Strong play to keep possession. United with the ball again. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. A chance to deliver into the box. Fernandez pulls it back. Can he finish? Terrific! Another goal. What a scoreline this is for them. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to pick out a teammate with a lovely cutback. And I couldn't see him missing from there. He made a strong connection. It's a nice goal, that. So it's 3-0 as the game restarts. Pascal Gross. Ansu Fati. Lovely ball. Now what can they do with it? A really good interception to take the ball. Bruno Fernandes. And that has stopped any potential danger. Fernandez now for the finish. Oh, excellent work from the keeper to deny a promising looking attack. And they take a short corner. The ref allowing play to continue. Sofian Amrabat. No stopping him yet. Juan Bissaka. And the defence has done its job to stop any trouble brewing. Pascal Gross. This is a good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? And it's behind for a corner. The referee's going to go back and give a booking here. Yeah, I liked how he let play continue there, but had to punish the foul. Once play had stopped, he did that. delivered and the attack is over really good defending Fernandez has to be the job not done yet, and it's been kept out by the tips of the fingers. So 
something different from the corner and maybe that's a misconnection with the ball it's well well wide Given it away here. No time to dwell on the ball. Dallo. Fernandez. And the keeper more than equal to it. And the danger is cleared. McTominay, and the hard work pays off, they won the ball. Igor, oh that's been won really smartly. Could be something on, and that has missed by quite a distance. Number 16, Ahmad Diallo, to be replaced by number 10, Marcus Rashford. They found a way through. Now, this has to be. And they've scored again. It's become a question of just how many they'll get. Well, here's the replay and the keeper will be so frustrated he couldn't keep that out. He manages to get something on it, but just not enough to prevent the goal. then for the final time perhaps or maybe not as they continue to dominate no free kick not yet advantage played possession lost just at the point of something happening Ansu Fati United being afforded too much space here and it's on now. Well, I'm sure he thought he's... It is brilliant. It takes a very special player to score a goal as special as that. Here it is again, and this is quality. I love that he's got the audacity to try this. It's a lovely bit of skill. And off we go again with the gap now a full five to nothing. Danny Welbeck. Gross. And with that stray pass, there's a change of possession. Now there could be a chance to counter. And the work pays off as they get the ball back. Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on.
He's drifting into a useful position here. And that's where it ends. Evans. Well, that brings the match to a close. A frustrating day for the fans in attendance, and it's three points dropped. Well, you can see how gutted some of the players are. They know they've been poor today. Not just one or two, it was collectively all over the pitch. Much improvement needed for the next game. Well, he really has put in a first-class performance today. Absolutely magnificent. Yeah, he caused them a lot of problems off the ball, closing them down and never giving them a minute in possession. On the ball, he was brave and showed quality with his goals.